G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and I'm here today for a very special video. I'm going to be walking you through the brand new Adobe Photoshop Elements 15. We're going to take a look in this video at the organizer and see what new and improved features are there to help you keep your photos organized and easy to access. Whether you're printing photos, whether you're making photo books, scrapbook pages, whatever you're doing with your photo library, Photoshop Elements Organizer can help. If you have visited digitalscrapbookinghq.com, you'll know that I am a massive fan of the organizer and I've been using it for about 10 years now. In Photoshop Elements 15, we've got some great exciting news, especially for you Mac users. You've got some great improvements and I can't wait to show you what they are. So without further ado, we'll jump into the organizer. When you first open Photoshop Elements Organizer, you'll be greeted with this welcome screen that will explain a little bit of what Photoshop Elements Organizer does. What you want to do is take a moment to read through the information, it explains how you can use the automated tagging, place tagging, and events to make managing your photos a lot easier. But we're going to just click on Start Importing. Now by default, Photoshop Elements Organizer will show you your pictures folder on your computer. Now for the purposes of this video, we're going to be working with a small portion of my photo library. So let's jump in to that. If you want to add any folder, you can just click on the add folder button and then browse on your hard drive to find what you're looking for. Let's start with 2016. So it's searching for files and you'll just need to wait until that little um, searching icon goes away before you click import. So it's picked up 240 photos. Now if you've got a huge library, I have about 30,000 digital photos or something like that. It'll take a while to import all of those. So in this video, I'm going to show you the real time for importing just one folder of photos. So let's click import and it'll just run through showing you the thumbnails of the photos as they are imported. Now, Photoshop Elements Organizer is not going to be moving your photos through this import process. It is just making a thumbnail image of your photograph to store inside the catalog. Now when you first import your photo library, I'll assume you're going to be taking a lot more photos in it than I have just for this demo. So it'll take a few minutes, so go make yourself a cup of tea. And when you come back, you'll see the number of items in the bottom left the most recent photos that are included and then you've got this little icon. This one is saying that it's currently creating thumbnails of your photographs. It tells you what it's doing over here, analysing faces in your catalogue. And then at the bottom on the right here it says the name of the catalogue. So the catalogue is a database that has the thumbnails of your images and all the metadata, all the information, the places, the people that you add to your photos. So if you ever want to change your catalogue, it's easy. Um, you can just click on there and choose a different catalogue. And that's also where you'll come if you need to convert an old catalogue. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to show you how to convert an old catalogue, but great news is if you've used Photoshop Elements before and you've done tagging of people, places or things or events or whatever, that will all come through when you convert your catalog and if you do have Photoshop Elements already installed on your computer when you upgrade to Photoshop Elements 15 it will prompt you and take you through the process of converting your catalog. So here we are all the little processes that have gone on in the background of Photoshop Elements Organizer for the last few minutes to get everything ready for us to organize our photos. So I'm going to show you one of the brand new features that can really help you with managing your photo library in Organizer. It's the Instant Fix. 
Now the instant fix has been around a little while, but in this version, we can do something awesome. We can instant fix multiple photos at a time. So let's just select some of these photos and click instant fix. And you can view them one at a time or all the photos, but I'm gonna choose all these photos and I'm gonna just um, brighten them up a bit. Let's click the smart fix to see what it does. That's super, I really like that. But let's click undo for now and show you some of the other features. You can crop or red eye on individual photos. Of course, we've got a group here. And so then we can just apply some effects. You can scroll through to see those. They're more artistic kind of things. We can do the smart fix, which uses a bit of Photoshop magic to analyze your photos and work out what will look best. We can adjust the color. We've got these handy slider here showing us where we started off in the red and then adjusting the color. Just undo that. And you can at any time revert to the original files. And then we've got this clarity, which as it appears, it improves the clarity of the photos. So as with all things in Photoshop Elements, I like to give the software a chance. So I often start with just clicking on Smart Fix and that's looking pretty good to me. And I really like it. So we can click Save to save those changes to our file, or we can just click Done and it'll ask us whether we want to save our changes. For now, I'll just click no and move on to show you some exciting other features. Now there are some great new behind the scenes features in Photoshop Elements Organizer that helps you with automatic tagging. It analyzes your photos and finds things like buildings and all kinds of things. So let's show you how we can use some of the great new features to do a little bit of advanced searching. So let's go ahead and add a name and you'll be prompted to add your Facebook friends, which is a super handy way to have your list of friends already added to Photoshop Elements. Now this doesn't actually send any information to Facebook. All it does is it downloads your friends list. So then you can add your Facebook friends quite easily. So you'll notice there's a number of little stacks here of people that Photoshop Elements thinks is the same person. And it'll also take a guess at who it thinks these other stacks might be. So now in just this few minutes, I've already added a couple of hundred face tags to our photo library. And now we've got, we've got no unnamed people and all of our photos have their um, people assigned. So that was really speedy. You'll also notice that in Photoshop Elements, it defaults to show you the untagged photos first in both the people and the places mode. But if you wanna see what's already been pinned, you can certainly do that. And in my little neck of the woods over here in Western Australia, I've got all 238 of these images are tagged as being in Perth. And as I zoom in, you'll notice that it um, splits the piles up and actually gives me a little bit more detail. So for this one, I can click get location name and it's got to go ahead and automatically add that location name to all of the 179 photos we took that day. When we click on here, so now you can see that we've got Bullsbrook, Western Australia, Australia coming and we can even edit the location information or you can add a custom name replacing Bullsbrook with the maze because that's probably how we'll remember it. So a lot of work's been done behind the scenes in Photoshop Elements Organizer. And in this version, something that Mac users have been asking for for a long time has come. It is the watch folders. So if you go to the file menu and then click watch folders, you can select some photo folders to watch. 
can add and remove folders. And then whenever you start Photoshop Elements Organizer, it'll notice that some new photos have been added and it'll go ahead and import those. And then you can choose whether it should notify you or automatically add the files to the organizer. I personally just choose automatically add files because for me that makes it super automated. If you're not using the photo downloader that's included in Photoshop Elements to download the photos from your camera, if you do it manually, if you have an iFi card or any other system, this will watch and make sure that they come into your organizer as well. You can also set up a watch folder by clicking import in bulk. Any photos that you include in the bulk import will be automatically watched. Really handy. You can always turn off that automatic watch by clicking on this little binoculars icon. So I can turn it off or on. Import some more. And the great news is that Photoshop Elements Organizer supports your local storage your in your hard drive in your computer, also external hard drives, Dropbox, OneDrive and Google Photos. So it's really handy. You can easily share any photograph to Facebook by using the share process that's been available for a number of years, but it's now been improved so that you can share images easily to your timeline or to an existing photo or even share a video one at a time. So now in Photoshop Elements Organizer, no matter which version of Photoshop Elements Organizer you're using, whether it's for the Mac or the PC, watched folders now works the same way. If you open up Photoshop Elements Organizer and there's new photos in your watched folders, Photoshop Elements Organizer will pop up this window and you can just select them and click import. Now if you're like me and you always want to import all of your photos into Photoshop Elements Organizer you can totally go ahead and turn off that window. I'll show you how to do that. So it's now showing me just the photos it's imported. You can click on watch folders and then just click automatically add files to Elements Organizer. Then it won't prompt you every single time. Now there's also been another improvement for importing photos. If you're using a camera or card reader on a Mac, you might have had difficulty with your iOS devices. Now, it works perfectly. So that's super handy for all those Mac people who have a Mac computer, Mac, iPhone, everything's an Apple device. It should now work much more smoothly with Photoshop Elements. If you've ever found the find menu in Photoshop Elements Organizer a little bit overwhelming and you weren't sure how to best look for things through the, all the changes that it's been going through in the last few years, you'll love the great new search mode. Just click on the blue magnifying glass and you'll be taken to the new search experience. Down the left hand side of the page you'll be able to access all of the smart tags that Photoshop Elements has automatically added to your photos. Your people, places, dates, folders, keywords, albums, events, star ratings and media type. So it makes it super easy to find things in your library. Want to get some photographs of flowers? Look for bloom. Want to find some photos of kangaroos? There you go. Photoshop elements have tagged them all for me. Do I want to find Emily with a kangaroo? Or maybe Edward with a kangaroo? <laughs> it's pretty easy to build custom searches. And once you've added star ratings to your photos, you could find all of your good images that are tagged as family and dated in 2016. Here I can find all the photos of people smiling in July 2016. And once your search is completed, you can return back to the grid where you can do all kinds of things like mark a face and do some group editing and all that kind of thing. And you can easily return to searches you've made previously.
I really love this new search feature and it's going to make it a lot simpler for you to search through your library and really use it to its full effect. For instance, we can look for Lucy Shannon at the maze and we come up with a selection of photos. I think you'll love the smart tags feature and another handy thing is that you can actually remove any smart tags that are incorrectly applied. So for example, soccer here will return to the grid and none of these have anything to do with soccer. No worries. Control A to select all, right mouse button click and then remove smart tag of soccer. So hopefully you'll find that these new features in Photoshop Elements really make your life easier. And again, less tagging means more time for scrapbooking and making memories. Thank you for joining me for this review of Photoshop Elements Organizer, where I've showed you the great new enhanced fixes you can do, automatic tagging, watch folders for Macs, and a lot of the enhancements and fixes that have been made to the system. If you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements Organizer, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com where I have classes and lots of free tutorials all about Photoshop Elements Organizer. And if there's any questions I don't answer, feel free to click on the Contact Me page and send me a message. I'm always happy to help you out and I know that with a little bit of knowledge, your photo library will be running like a dream with Photoshop Elements Organizer. Thanks so much for watching this video and don't forget, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com to learn more about Photoshop Elements and digital scrapbooking.